Just who do you think you brought me, man? That's not me daughter. And the little one? Neither, damn it! I think I'd know my own child. Well, it uh, might, might not be yours, the older one, but you've got to admit the likeness. That's downright striking. So, any chance for that reward? You'll not see one fucking copper. Get out before I set my hands on you. So, stew any good? Very. Thank you. I'd not eaten in. Clear to see. I'm well, pleased you like it. Had them prepare a bath for you once you've eaten. And you could do with some sleep. Great care in the nook behind the hearth. You in the guest room opposite the kitchen. Thank you. I... Shh. Eat now. We'll speak once you've rested. So I ordered my men to watch her and left her to rest. And? Ah, a topic for another time. I want... I need to find her. Understand? I need every last bit of information available. I understand. But you see, it so happens my wife and daughter are missing as well. I propose an exchange. Find my loved ones, and I shall tell you about the girl you seek. All I know. What if I refuse, because I just don't want to? Would you tell me to sod off? Go ahead, but then I'll tell you the same. And what'll that make us? Two helpless, empty-handed sods. Think of it as searching for your own daughter. Ought to go quickly, then. Guard! This man's under my protection. No one's to bother him in any way. Don't stare. I've not grown horns. Treat it as a token of my good faith. When do you see them last? They vanished after the new moon, as if whisked away by shadows. What do you mean, vanished? Precisely that. I awoke one morn to find them gone. I'll need to know a lot more than that. Can I see their rooms? What for? I need clues. Anything to latch on to. I'll not let a stranger pour through their belongings. Want me to find them or not? I do. Then let me work. <sighs> Fine. But I shall go with you. The doors are locked. When she was a babe, my daughter loved animals. Saw a deer trophy on a wall once. Did you know what she asked? Haven't got a clue. Papa, is that deer's wump on the Get other side of the sight. wall? <laughs> you see it there? <laughs> What's a trophy? <laughs> I pity any bastard who's hurt her. I'll flay him alive. Here it is. Damn it! Jammed again! Bed chains. Tamara's room is there. Try not to make a mess. For their return, I want everything to be as they left it. Wooden candlestick. Stems broken. Fresh flowers. He expects them to return any minute. Takes hope. Fresh flowers. He expects them to return any minute. Takes hope.
Walls a different color. Something used to hang here. Hmm. That painting? Right size. The Baron and his wife. <laughs> Look happy enough. What's this? Ah, gotta wonder who wanted to hide the hole. And what's on the other side. Hmm, it gets interesting. Piece of wood looks like the stem of that candlestick. No coincidence there. Hmm. Fight might have happened here. I'll look for clues. Huh. Rest of the candlestick. And wine stains. Somebody smashed a bottle. From Toussaint. Yeah, Ervalus. Scent hasn't died. Wonder where it'll lead me. Deep nicks. Hit with a heavy object. Damn, trail breaks off. Mm, Could find Spruce something wood. else, though. Smells of juniper incense. Some sort of folk talisman. Protective. Question is, against what? Won't find much else here. Done poking around. Recognize this amulet? Hmm. Yes. Anna began wearing it a time ago. Any idea where she got it? None. Any witches or cunning women in the area? A Pella. Old Coot lives near Blackbow. And there's a cunning woman in Midcops, but I know little about her. She's only recently arrived. If Anna were to see someone, she'd choose the Pella, not the woman. Anna was wary of strangers, newcomers. Found signs of a fight in the room. Know anything about that? A fight? What are you talking about? Someone was attacked. Probably your wife or daughter. Whoever it was tried to defend themselves with a candlestick. Missed the attacker. Punctured the wall instead. They tussled too. I... I don't know nothing about this. That night, I was drunk. Don't remember a thing. They were gone by the time I awoke. Doubt you were the only ones in the castle. Maybe one of your men heard something? Three times I asked those bastards if they'd seen anything, heard anything. Nothing! Not a one of them! I to have a chat with this Peller. Fair warning, he's a hard man to talk to. Rumor has it he killed his own father with an axe as a lad, then went batty. Now they say he sees ghosts and plows his goat. Not really interested in his hobbies. Just want to ask about the amulet. Incense. And an old key. Wonder what it unlocks. Anise. Sandalwood. And something else. Saffron.
damn ugly for a doll. The kind you'd stick with pins to hurt someone. I think I got scabies. Fires made it to Velen. An altar. So, the eternal fires made it to Velen. Got eyes like a cat. I guess mine too. What do you want? Want to talk to the Peller? Too late. We've got dibs on a chat with him. A long one.
Get the hell out. Now. <laughs> and here I thought we'd have a day without corpses. Herb Majors pay top coin for the special bits of rare creatures. Wonder how much we'll get for his eyes. Anybody home? Open up, it's safe now. Devils? Who do they bring? What seek ye? I need your help. Ooh, a man, nay, a wolf, grey, though not old. Tis he the pillar awaits. As the bones declared I should. They shall come who stench his rape and death, but the wolf shall disperse them, the white wolf. And thus he comes. Omens never lie. Recognize this? Made of spruce wood, strong smell of juniper, designed to protect someone. Freshly cut spruce, sprinkled with goat's blood, then tempered with an incense of earth, smoke and juniper. For Anna, to protect her. So, designed to protect her, from what? Oh, the, the uh, besieged she was, evil all around, wanting to possess her. Old magic, born of oblivion, from dark sources emerged. Old magic? Can you be more specific? It is not for mouth speech, nor for the touch. A small protective charm, not a thing more a Pella could do. Anna and her daughter are missing. Know where they are? Nay, no, nay. Pella don't know. But the spirits could know. The Pella will augur, the spirits ask. Spirits? Great. Fine with me. Long as I know where to look, where to find them. Lost, lost, must be found. Princess! None better than princess for finding things. Princess? Which princess? Princess! My goat! She's fled! Those men must have scared her off. Can we get back to the auguring? Without the goat? Impossible. No goat? <laughs> Won't work. Will you help me if I bring the goat back? Princess! Princess! Where have you got to go? Fine. I'll get your goat. The bell! The little bell's ringing! She loves it! Ring, ring, and she will follow. But for a while. But beware of wild strawberries. Raspberries too. Yeah, treacherous as beasts go. I always keep an eye out for them.
decision. Let's go see the Beller. Should have guessed as much. What's a Witcher compared to a patch of wild strawberries? Come on, damn it. This way, Your Grace. Do I really have to keep ringing this bell for you to follow? Where the hell did you go? Bear! Bear! Run, you stupid piece of shit! You're no roach, but I bet we could be friends in time. You've got that all-important quality every roach has to have. You don't talk much. Princess, flee not from the pillar, for there are wolves about. <laughs> goat of mine, dearest, sweetest goat. for you, but I'm kinda in a hurry. Anna and Tamara, they might be in danger. The White Wolf helped the Pella, and so the Pella shall help him. Blood. We need blood. A living being. Fine. Be right back.
Will this do? She miscarried. Hmm. Baron didn't mention it. Afraid, perhaps. Or ashamed, or forgetful. Or perhaps he had no wish to remember. The Baron have anything to do with his wife's miscarriage? Foul-tempered he is, and he's a fondness for hooch. No doubt makes his temper even fouler. Did he abuse his family? Anna came to you, you must have noticed something. The Pella's old, near blind, but Princess came and licked her hand. So what? She's a wise beast. Only comes to those who suffer. What happened to the child? In a grave throne, without rite or ceremony, it awoke. Now it wanders, it seeks vengeance. A botchling. White wolf. Wise wolf, catch the botchling. The botchling will help. Lead the wolf to the loved ones. Botchlings suck the blood of pregnant women and eat their fetuses. They don't help. Tis a being cursed, and witches lift curses. If the white wolf can't lift it, he should bring me its blood. Blood will always find kindred blood. Heard of one witcher who lifted a botchling's curse. Never tried it myself, though. I know you need to bury it under the threshold. And give it a name. Perform the I'm Roin. The ritual of naming. That's an elven custom. Human, elven, dwarven, ancient. Spirits have no race. They honor not its meaning. Win a spirit's favor, and the spirit shall aid you. Ask, and it will answer. Seek, and it will show you the way. Whatever I do, I gotta find the botchling first. Seek it at midnight, near the grave that lies empty. If what you say is true, the Baron ought to know where that grave is. Castles on fire! 
Let's go! Oswin? Where's Oswin? Anyone seen him? I believe I saw him heading to the stable. What? Fire. You blind? Nobody willing to put it out? Ain't that simple. Most are afraid. Baron flies into a rage. He takes no prisoners. My brother's in the stable. We've got to save him. He'll burn alive. Him and the horses. See what I can do. Hurry now! Quick! Well, this is a fucking first. Looks like rain. Miscarried. Was that before or after you beat her to a pulp? What the fuck are you suggesting? Don't play me for a fool. You'd been beating them for years. Finally, they'd had enough and fled. Sound about right? <laughs> they ran from you, didn't they?
sit down. You beat them. I never laid a finger on Tamara. Not once. And on Anna? That's another story. She always knew how to spark my ire. You knew they had run away from the start. Yes, I knew. Why didn't you tell me? Wasted my time. Say I had. Say I'd said I had troubles. Couldn't control my wife, my daughter. What kind of flaccid prick would you take me for? Tell me everything you remember about the day they fled. The truth this time. I'd been soaking myself three days straight. Anna came to me, said they were leaving. I begged them to stay. She refused to hear it. I tried to stop her. She wriggled like an eel. We struggled. She fell. Last blasted thing I remember. Woke up in the morn, breeches heavy with my own piss. A large bump on my head. Sadly, they were gone. Know what that's like, Witcher? No. How the fuck could you? I was left with nothing. Nothing! Only the bottle. What happened next? Next? It only got worse. I awoke at sunset, not knowing how many days had passed. Thought it was all a plowing, drunken nightmare. And then I went to the bedchamber, and Anna was not there. Instead, there was blood everywhere. I knew she'd miscarried. My breath short, my throat locked. I neared the bed and saw it. It lay there, a tiny thing, defenseless, on bloodied sheets, dead. And it was my doing. Maybe you're doing, maybe not, but that amulet she wore could be important, or maybe the fact that she lost it. What did you do with the child? What was I to do? Took it out and buried it. Just like that? Damn you! I gave no thought to a funeral. It was a horror. I wanted it to end. That child had been my dream. I told Anna, the little one, our little one, to make things right. Yet she died before she could be born. Understand, Witcher. My child was dead. I sympathize. I do. Thank you. And know that I hope you find your Siri. Deal we made means I need to find Tamara and Anna first. Just so happens your unborn daughter might help us do that. What? How? Sometimes miscarried fetuses, if they don't get a proper burial, turn into botchlings. Into... fucking what? Details you don't need to know. There's a bond of blood between this creature and your wife and daughter. I can use that bond to find them. How? One of two ways. Legends claim you can bury a botchling under the family's threshold, perform a ritual and turn it into a lubberkin. That's a sort of, uh, hob. A guardian spirit that could lead me to your family. And the other way? We kill it and draw some blood. Take that to the Peller and he does the rest. Do not kill my child. It's suffered enough already. Lift the curse that it may finally rest in peace. Whatever we do, we gotta find the botchling first. I'll show you where I buried her, and I'll dig the grave at my threshold. If it turns out we can't transform the botchling into a lubberkin, they can bury us in it. Handy either way.
The sooner we resolve this, the better. Best do it tonight, at midnight. Then wait here with me. Near midnight, I'll take you to where I buried her. Get word to the common folk. Ought to stay in their homes tonight and draw a line of salt outside their doors. And try to sober up. Do I take a shovel? To dig up the grave? Take it. You'll need it, but not for that. A bit further. Follow me. You give the child a name? No. Why would we? Mistake. Names are powerful seals. Here's the spot. Chose a lovely spot. Damn it, will you relent? I'm plowing now I've done wrong. Good. The grave's dug up and empty. What's that mean? Botchlings on the prowl. us in the arse before we know it! Keep screaming, it will turn rabid. It's calm for now. Bloody hell! What happens when it gets blown and restless? It'll bite through your jugular, and you'll bleed to death before I can help. Tell me if it starts wriggling. I'll calm it with magic. Pick it up. Take it in your arms. Good merciful gods! Back to the fortress. What? With this? As I recall, you were the one wanted to test the old legends, change it into a lubricant. Oh, fuck. What do you want to do with it? Me? Nothing. This is your job. 
told you, gotta bury it under the threshold. If the tales are true, by tomorrow it'll be a leprechaun. From then on, it'll watch over your house and help me find your family. What now? In one day's time, Dea should turn into a lubberkin. I'll stay here and wait. You go home. I'll wait with you. Out of the question. But that's my child. And the guilt, the responsibility for all this, lies with me. Time for parental impulses? It's long past. Besides, nothing else you can do here. But... No buts. Just Witcher's work left to do here. Gotta wait a day and a night for the botchling to turn into a lubberkin. That's it. Go home. And try not to drink yourself stupid again. I need a good plow.
my blood's power I summon you. With your name I beseech you. Hear my call and arise, Dea! Lead me to those bound to you by blood. Bracelet. One of them must have dropped it. Shoe. No way a pitch burner could afford a horse. Both were here. I'm going the right way. Wants to show me something more.
still worth a closer look. Damn it. Should examine that horse carcass. days. Giant claws. Wasn't a necrophage made these marks. Horseshoes missing. Is this the animal that lost one in the smokehouse? Head torn clear off. Takes incredible strength. Must have been attacked by a powerful beast. Surprised him. Hope they got away. Trail goes on. Good thing it doesn't end here. Fisherman's hut. Seems she wants me to take a closer look. Who's that? In the room. Go on now. What you seek here, sir? Our hut's out of the way. Woeful. We has nothing. We knows nothing. Just need information. Looking for two women, the Bloody Baron's wife and daughter. Not a soul have been here, sir. Sure? Not even passing through? Daughter's medium height, about 20. Her mother's thin, about 40. Seen them? That sir came at night, right, Mummy? Quiet, boy! Where'd the girl go? Your son said enough, no point in playing dumb anymore. Sorry, sir, but you don't look like one of her father's men. Because I'm not. I'm looking for Tamara and her mother. I need to know if they're alive and safe. Tamara is, hi. She's to my brother's place in Oxenford. But Mrs. Anna, that's another tale. Though anywhere's better than to crow's perch with a baron. Why? Cause, cause he beat her, sir. Beat Mrs. Anna, I mean. Everyone knew, but not a one lifted a finger for to stop it. What happened to Tamara's mother? were like this. I was awaiting in the old smokehouse with horses. Cold as hell and so dark, couldn't see past two L's in front of you. Moon had risen high, and still they hadn't come. Began to fear some demon had snatched them. But finally they came forth, and we set off towards the river. Suddenly, out of nowhere, a gale arose, thought it'd tear my head off. And those damn birds, swarms of them coursing o'er the woods, raising a racket to make your ears bleed. Mrs. Anna screamed, bent over into herself, 
Tamara knelt down, gripped her arms. Toward then, I saw it. Fiery marks on her hands. What marks? These, well, like burned on with hot iron. On the palms, inside. Burned? Like a cattle brand? Aye, though these wasn't black scars scabbed over. These hot and glowing, as if they burned with raw fire. Fine. What happened next? Grew even darker. Seemed someone had put out the stars. Crickets all went silent of a sudden. And then, from the woods, a roar broke out in a cold sweat, and before I could catch my breath, a beast jumped out of the woods, big as a barn, with horns and two burning coals for eyes. I thought I was done for. The beast attacked Mrs. Anna's horse, ripped its head off, carried her off into the woods. Our horses, mine and Miss Tamara's, got spooked and tore off willy-nilly, to the only reason we escaped. The miss wanted to go back for her mother, but my wife pleaded. Said she'd die out there alone. Miss Tamara agreed not to go. Why help them at all? You risked a lot. By the debt. Owed Miss Tamara. Three moons passed, a fever gripped my boy. We thought he was done for. Tamara learned it. Brought food and salves. We're poorer than dirt itself. She saved my boy. No two ways about it. Me, myself, I'd have never dared to help. But my missus told me, a time of war and contempt's come, a time of folk gone wrong. We needs to repay good with good. Who stands by idly does evil as if. Married a wise woman. Crying shame we couldn't save Mrs. Anna in the end. Thanks for your help. The lady. She'll be alright in the end, won't she? I'll do what I can to see that she is. So here our paths diverge. Thank you, Dea. Go in peace. <laughs>